So welcome to the news, guys. We're back again. Hope you've all had a great week. We are going to talk about... We've got quite a few bits from Bob. So we have we've this got, week, yeah. What have we got? we got mug giveaway. Mug, we're the winner yeah. so from last week. We have pinballs. Yeah, talk we pinball. Have, we're going to have a walk around the showroom to arcades. show arcades. Yeah. And also the arcade pro mercury. Do the mercury as well. Yeah. So quite a few good bits and bobs. Let's yeah. do the mug first of all then. So who won our giveaway last week? The lucky winner from week one, starting from last week, was... A guy called Ashley Parkhouse. So Ashley, uh, I'll message you on Facebook, and uh, we'll get your address, and we'll send the the, the mug over Brilliant. to you. Brilliant. Uh, we're doing the same again uh, yep. this week, so you can win one of our mugs. All you've got to do is like the post, uh, tag a friend, and uh, Ray will pick somebody at, at random, random. Yeah. Uh, and send you out a mug. So well done. So that's mugs. Uh, pinball then. Pinball. Who's going to tell everybody what's going on in the world of pinball? Pinball. There's been a, obviously a few new machines in the last what, couple of months, I'd say. Yes, it's certainly been very busy, yeah. very, very busy. So Jurassic Park's been absolutely flying. Everybody loves a bit of Jurassic Park. I must say I'm really looking forward to that. It's the yeah. first ones of uh, landed in the UK. So the pros are here. There's still premiums and NLEs to arrive. So... Um, so that's cool, but then Stern have come out again now with another new re release, which is Elvira, and it's called Jono. Elvira's House of Horrors. Uh, House of Horrors. Horrors. So there's so it's going to be on our website. They've Stern have been doing a load of stuff on. Uh, it's on literally Twitter 24 media hours, isn't it? It's in the last 24 hours. Yeah, hours. that it's come out. So if you're interested in Elvira uh, or new pinballs, then have a look. All the details will be on our website, um, and uh, pricing hasn't yet been confirmed we're just waiting for Stern to confirm that to us but there's different versions though isn't there mm. there's different versions there's no is it premium no pro no pro no pro so you've got premium yeah what's the difference between the, the, the two then you, well generally in their normal range yeah so the pro is more aimed at an operator that maybe going to be put them into okay. uh, an arcade or bar yeah. or something like that yeah. and so they don't have so many features on there it makes them cheaper to buy yeah um uh but then the premium then has got more features so yeah. generally speaking it's got more features so for yeah. example on jurassic park you've got the t-rex which will grab the ball throw it around the play field that's the yeah. big difference yeah, yeah. between the two but on Elvira, there's no pro version. So they did the same thing, Batman 66, probably, John, we were saying, wasn't it the last one they did this with, where there's no pro version. You go straight into premium, LE, and then they're doing a signature edition. Nice. Uh, the signature is only going to have 50 uh, of those released. So if you want one of them, you need to be super duper quick. Um, and the LE, there's only 500 of those coming out. So the premium will probably be where the bulk of the orders will be. Yeah. Uh, but it depends how important Elvira is in your life, is it? So who... That's it, Elvira. She was around what, mid seventies TV show. I've got to say, I never used to watch it. No. I mean, it's been in, yeah, she's been in pinball, hasn't she? So, John, go on. Yeah. Then, what's the what's the pinball heritage of Elvira? First one was in the eighties, Elvira and the Party Monsters. Second one was in nineteen ninety six, and that was Scared Stiff, which is very popular. Yeah, so that's a real sort of collector's one, isn't it? Great game that is. But you can see who our resident pinball. Uh, and geek she, is. I know she's uh, she does a lot of Comic Con. Uh, Yes, yeah, She's yeah, yeah. Around Loads of stuff there. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. That's Elvira. If you want yep. some information, give us a buzz. Check out the website. As info comes in, we'll be updating our social media and the blog and so on. I'll so put some links on underneath the video as well so you can have a look. Check cool. it out. Let's yeah. do arcades. So, arcades. Uh, for those of you that like to pop down and know what's going on down here in the world of arcades, We've got quite a few, so John, if you just want to pan around what we've got in here, so we've got Defender, we've got Outrun, we've got a Frogger, we've got Tempest, we've got a Donkey Kong Jr. So these are all original, old school arcades, uh, and some of them are our kind of our collection, which we're not selling, um, but people like to come down and have a play. So we thought we'd give you a quick update. So this Defender is working beautifully, really nice example. And she's been good as gold, actually. Outrun, we did have a problem with the screen. That's now fixed. If you want to come and play Outrun, then you can do. This one isn't for that's, sale, that's though, actually guys. two of my favourite games. Yeah, I know. They're yeah. first, which is why we're not selling them. <laughs> uh, just want to keep them. But if you want to come and play Outrun, then you can do. It's on free play. That's why the doors open, so you can pick out a credit on there. That one's not for sale, but we are taking orders. We've got a few coming in. So if you do want an Outrun, we can add you to our list. There's already quite a few people on it, but as we come across Outruns, that we can supply to you all restored, then we can do that for you. Frogger, sadly, that's next door to it, uh, is still not working. So if you're a Frogger fan, don't come down and try and play that. But Tempest is fixed. So Tempest, a lot of fans of Tempest, and that is a real rarity. Um, 
We've had quite a few problems uh, with it. Uh, difficult to keep going, so the last thing has been the power adapter on that that's not been working, but we've managed to get that fixed now and that's up and running. So, so that's arcades and that's really, that is the problem with arcades is they yeah. will go wrong and you only get one game in, in a cabinet and they take up a lot of space. So those of you that are arcade fans, probably the Mercury is the way forward. So we're going to take a look at that. So we're going to cut now and we'll zip over to the Mercury and we'll talk all about that in a second. Okay, so we've moved from the, uh, the original uh, classic arcades to our new Mercury Arcade Pro 2350. Yes. Oh, I've got the That's numbers it. right. Yeah, I know, it's hard <laughs> to remember all the numbers because all the game packs keep increasing. But this is actually a, a TV console um, with over 2,300 games. Yeah, so that's where the 2350 comes yeah. from. That's the amount of games that's, that's on it. It just connects. So you, you get this, this unit here. So two player, six buttons per player. So if you want to play Street Fighter 2 or something, that's you know, why you need to have yep. your six buttons. And it just connects up via an HDMI cable, just runs through Straight into the back of your TV. Um, and, and then you go to the power. So the HDMI cable we actually supply with them is it's actually eight metres long, as you've yeah. seen. It's yeah, we massive. It and it's great. And that's because when I first took one home to try, uh, it was only two metres and you really couldn't use it. So that's why we've spec'd it now with an eight metre HDMI cable. So it's dead easy to pop it on your um, coffee table, connect it into your TV. It's a nice long cable as well on the main, so it's dead easy to, to get set up. Plug it in, turn it on, up she comes. Um, all illuminated buttons, dead easy. It's because it's not that big, is it really? It's light, no, it's, it's, it's fairly yeah. light. It's so it's, I think it's a perfect combination of being big enough that two of you can sit at it and yep. play comfortably, yep. uh, but not so large that you couldn't, when you're not playing it, just pop it away uh, and get it back out again when you know the TV's free and you want to have a bit of a retro gaming sesh. And we said it was what, two, over 2,000, 2,300 games. Yeah, so on, on here, so um, on the menu here, you can see we've got 3D games, 2D games, uh, and you've got one of 160, so you can sort of see, the, see the Tekkens there. So you've got 160 3D games, and if you go to the right, on the 2D games you've got 2,190. Which is insane. So yeah, so it's got, I mean it's got stacks and stacks yeah, of games. Yeah. Um, what hasn't it got? I guess that's actually probably the place to start. Yeah. What it hasn't got, that a lot of people sort of ask us for, is Defender, Robotron, Outrun, so our original ones did have Outrun, but you couldn't change gear, so you're always low gear. Gotcha. You never get very Is far. Is that because that. of the combination of the buttons? Yeah, they just, it just didn't work, so we got them to change the pack um, that's, that, that's on there. But those are the games that really aren't on there that people ask for, so you know, most of the games are there. If you wanted to try to check whether your favourite game is on it, then there is a listing. there's a list on, yeah. the, on the listing that's on our website. I'll link that you can below go through, as well. Yeah. You can see what's on there. And having gone through, I, mean, I must have played, I don't know, 30, 40 of these the other night just to sort of check out our latest version. And everything plays really good. There was only one that was a bit weird, um, which was a more recent version of Space Invaders. I think it was Space Invaders 95. The sound, the sound just gets stuck. It just plays a continual note, which is a bit annoying. So if you are into getting one of these and there's a specific game that is, you know, so important to your life continuing in bliss and harmony, then check with us and we'll check that game. We haven't gone through all 2,350 game, games no. to make sure they're all absolutely perfect. <laughs> I've done all the ones I like, so you can yeah. sort of see, you go across to, to the latest, the ones that I like. Um, so Pac-Man, uh, Street Fighter 2, uh, Scramble, I like Paul, so we've tried Billiards, Marvel vs. Street Fighter. Viewpoint is a classic on the Neo Geo. Yeah. Have you ever played that? No, never it's played a, it. Oh, no. I love it. It's brilliant. Good soundtrack. Time Pilot. Yeah, remember. So the, we go back then into the early '80s, which is where I that's a good spent game, my Dan, formative yeah. years. Yeah. So that's uh, that's on there. Bubble Bobble. Our type is great. And then you've got the 3D stuff. Let's just show you the 3D stuff uh, on there. Just trying to remember how you actually get it to play. Let's just go back to uh, go latest. Uh, do you know, is it the like A button, isn't it? So press it on, well, it, press yeah. one P coin. So there she goes, then she loads up. You can't add any more games to this though, guys. So that's one of the things, again, customers ask is, oh, if I wanted this game, that game, can you add it to it? No, it comes in a pack. So that pack is sort of it's built into built, this. Yeah. You can't add games to it. You can take games off though. So yeah. if there were games on there that you knew you were never going to play, you can just take them off the listing so that they won't ever come yeah. up. But it won't save your high scores again. You know, once you've played the game yeah. and you've come out of it, 
the power goes and your high score disappears. So you can't. Picture quality is. It's stunning. It's it, unbelievably it, good. Yeah. Do you want to just grab the remote control and try and get the volume? It's incredible. Up on there. Uh, now I have to say that I am not a Dead or Alive 2 player. Well, I'm going to give it a go. So we so, go. So basically, the the sound will come out of the machine. Yes. And it will also come out your TV if if you, so you can. And it's got a headphone socket, so oh, okay. if you are playing it, everybody else has gone to bed, you don't want to keep them awake, but you're really into it, plug your headphones in the back there, you can play that, and it's got a volume control on the back, which is really cool. Um, so, let's go see if we can actually get this to start up. Story. I must admit, I've never played... We should have probably tested playing this <laughs> before we started doing it, but anyway, but you'll, get, you'll get an shows, idea of the yeah, graphics lives, yeah. as I try and work my way around trying to play Dead or Alive 2. I think the, the, the point of showing this particular game is just how good the graphics are. As I said, when I tested it, I took one home and tested it on, the, on a big, bigger screen. The quality of the image are, is the graphics is unbelievable. Oh, I'm just getting smashed in here massively. Yeah, I, it's not your game, is it, Andy? I don't think it is. <laughs> OK. <laughs> it, you know, it's, it is exactly like having your, uh, an arcade in your, in your living room, basically. I, I would come out of that. But it gives you an idea yeah. that, A, I'm rubbish uh, on that. Um, oh, we've got a new challenger now. Anyway, so there we go. So that's Dead or Alive 2. So these are in stock. They get posted out by DPD. Uh, so delivery's free of charge. They're 269. Which is an incredible price. It is. For yeah. that many games, yeah. um, it will keep you busy for hours, Forever. really. Yeah. yeah. Anything definitely. I've missed? Yeah, search. We've added a search oh, good point, option. Yeah. So you can type in your favourite game. OK, so what should we try? Uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. So start it start listing all obviously the D's as you go, and there we, there go, we go. The listings of Donkey Kong, which is pretty because the other one with two thousand two hundred and sixty yes. games on it was a nightmare to try and find yeah, your way around definitely. it. But yeah. now you can just search for a game; it's dead easy, which is which Simple. is good. So yeah, yeah really really fantastic. good. Good. Okay, so that's that. If you have got any questions, but nothing, we, if there's anything we haven't covered off. Just comment on the post and, and Ray or Jono will pick it up and then answer that for you. Um, don't forget to tag a friend, tag like a friend. this post, yeah. and we could uh, pick you for winning our mug. For and next that's week. it from us, isn't it? Yeah, I think there's been a, a lot mentioned there. But as we said, just a reminder, this is 269. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Free Excellent. delivery. Excellent. Great Excellent. stuff. Have a fab weekend. See you next time. See you next week.